Easy Edit is the Unibase by DMAC text editor. An editor is a program that writes and edits text files that are stored on a computer. It is similar to a word processor, but it doesn't analyze and change what you enter. That's because the text you write with an editor is intended to be interpreted, parsed, executed, whatever, by another computer program. So you don't want the editor to wrap your lines or correct your spelling. No matter how hard we try, plain English, whatever that is, is not what computers understand. So the text editor is used to create the source code for an aid program. It can also be used to create text for other features in Unibase, such as editing the environment variable file, unibase.ini, or editing online help files. Let's start Unibase by double-clicking on the icon and logging in as student. We choose Advanced Processing, File Definition, and Aid File Edit, since this will be the first type of program we're going to write. Let's do a display first on OPSTDS6 asterisk. And we see three different files. The one with the .et extension holds the source code source code for the OPSTDS6 file edit. The data in this file is readable as text. The file with the .bak extension holds the prior version of the source code. Each time you use EasyEdit to write out source code, it also writes a backup of the file before the current set of changes. The file with the .r extension is the executable code for the OPSTDS6 program. Once you have written the source code and told EasyEdit to save the file, you parse the source code with dparse, another Unibase program that creates the executable code as a .r file. Okay, now we'll do our change on the file OPSTDS6. Field release, release to proceed. And we've just successfully opened the OPSTDS6 source code file. Let's look at the information on the top line. We see we're using version 3.3 of EasyEdit. We also get the name of the file. I said the file was called OPSTDS6, but EasyEdit shows the full path. It's in the file edit subdirectory under the Unibase root, and it's the .et version of the file name we typed in. The B1 says we're in buffer 1 of EasyEdit, and EasyEdit gives you up to four different buffers for storing different programs or different pieces of code you might want to look at. This digit 1 says we're at character 1. If I use the cursor right key, you'll see this counter increasing and the cursor moves to the right. If I use the cursor left key, the cursor moves to the left and the counter decreases accordingly. This digit 1 says we're at line 1 of the source code. If I use the cursor down key, the cursor cleverly moves down and this counter increases. If I use the cursor up key, the cursor moves up and the counter correspondingly decreases. This number is the total number of lines in the program, 212. If I press the N key, we get to line 212 of the program. And here's the blinking cursor. If I press home, we go back to the first line of the program. The I says we're in insert mode. If I press the insert key, the I disappears and we're now in strike over mode. And I can toggle that feature back and forth with the insert key. The T says we're using the typewriter keyboard. It's possible to use the Nix keyboard. That's the N in the right corner or 
the Cade keyboard. That's the C in the upper right corner. You toggle them the same way you did in data entry with shift followed by function key 3, 4, or 5. But the typewriter keyboard is more convenient because aid is case sensitive and the verbs need to be in lower case. I think we've extracted all we can out of the top line of Easy Edit. In the next lesson, we'll look at some of the ways of moving around the text on this screen without destroying what's there. For now, we've got to know how to get out. We do that by pressing Function Key 10, then the File Edit menu. The OPSTDS6 program code remains intact.